Hey guys, today we are reviewing the Japanese naval forces. Kinda. So as you see, there's all of the Japanese naval forces. But as you'll also see, I only have one. I would not be making this video if I could get more. I would have more and I would do another video about it. But unfortunately they're technically in the closed beta, which means soon we'll be able to get them. But right now they're going through all the bugs and I could... I might invest in the ability to play them early, but that's just going to be depending on how you like the video and how you react to the video. So if you do want to see more early style Japanese naval forces content, I do need to, I want to see some likes, comments, things like that, just to kind of let me know that this wouldn't be in vain. So it's definitely something good. And here's my big deal: like this is the first boat you get. It's an okay boat. It kind of has lackluster weaponry. Just because now it does have two extremely powerful torpedoes, but only has a 50 cal with it, so it's kind of like most normal starting boats. It will be a little difficult to get kills. I found it very easy to get assist more than it was kills. You kind of step up a little bit, you kind of make a weird sidestep with the next one we have in the tree. Just to kind of give you an overview, I'm going to look at a couple of these ships before I say anything else. We do have nice torpedo tubes, and that will give us some decent large ship killing power. But after that, instead of having 150 cal or 12.7 millimeter, which is the same thing, we have two 7.7s, which is roughly a 30 caliber for any Americans out there. So, well, you know, Americans got to stick together. We got to all show that. And so that's kind of just how you make better torpedoes, but less damage as far as that. Now, we do step up pretty quickly to a large 75 millimeter gun and some pretty decent damage. So... Honestly, I think if this will be a very powerful naval force to go into. I mean, it's kind of one of those deals. Every country, I think, kind of has something that they do very well. And I think this country is going to be extremely good on naval forces. And, I mean, it's kind of one of those deals. It does have two 25mm AA guns. So it will be nice to keep planes off of you. But you're mostly going to be doing most of the damage at 75. Unless you're taking out planes or you're trying to attack small forces, you know. Just stuff around you it looks like it'll be interesting and so you know a lot of these don't really have armor early on but that's pretty normal now this one is an exception this one has a 37 millimeter and some armor I think this one will be very fun to play with once they I can get to it it's definitely a very interesting one because it adds a little bit of armor early on it does have a 37 and some AA guns just to kind of give us some air cover but I think at that low level, armored vehicles will be extremely fun. And I think that will be something interesting to see how it plays out with the rest of the meta for this game. Now I only think it's kind of fair to go down a little bit each time just to look at some more. Now this is a lot bigger torpedo boat. Now what stood out to me about this one was it doesn't have any forward facing armament besides the torpedoes. So basically this is a true torpedo boat. You have nothing besides torpedoes and one AA gun. Well, one large AA gun, but it'll definitely be a useful weapon system just to have and do, but it'll be difficult for people who aren't a fan of torpedoes. So that one will be interesting to see how it plays out once again they get out of early beta personally. But personally, these are really good vehicles, and later on I will go into test out some of the larger vehicles so let's see there's their I guess you could say big boy of their armaments and honestly I think this one will be fun to play because this is getting close we're getting closer and closer to battleships in my opinion because you look War Thunder is less and less afraid to make more powerful vehicles which I really do hope means that we will move towards submarines and more in the naval end of things because right now you know we only the biggest thing we have is like cruisers and a lot of it's just torpedo boats sub chasers things like that which I think will be extremely fun now you know as you can see nothing really out of the ordinary but there are some very there's a numerous amount of armament let's just put it like that if something comes up to this thing unless it's hitting it with some serious armament too it's going to be shredded like a torpedo boat unless it's an extremely skilled pilot is going to have some trouble and especially with that side armor and things of that nature it's going to make it an extremely powerful weapon I think I think it will now I may be wrong but I think this will be extremely powerful as far as 
high tier gameplay just because of the amount of weaponry it has and I think it'll be extremely fun and I'm hoping this is kind of an ease in for what we you know later on seeing stuff as to the kind of same style as larger battleships and maybe submarines too but I have a di I have a different theory about uh, how submarines are kind of showing that they're going to be here so let's just go out with the one of the premiums that you can get because you can test drive them all the time which is extremely fun to get a handle on some things and just have fun now while we're doing this little test drive I will say I want to talk about why I think adding the Japanese naval forces is good for if you want battleships and things of that nature now you could say well there's no correlation I would agree with you some but the main reason I say it is good is because the Japanese were very popular were very big into large very large battleships now I can name one very popular one the Yamamoto which I think would be something that War Thunder would want to put in the game when they started putting in battleships so I think this is very good because you're gonna have the US with the Iowa and then you're gonna have Germany with possibly the Bismarck and things of that nature and then you're going to have Japanese, Jap, Japan, excuse me, with the Yamamoto. Now, the Yamamoto is an extremely powerful battleship, and the only way they're going to be able to add it into the game is by adding in other battleships to counter it, because that thing had extreme weaponry and things of that nature. But I do think it could be a good sign that we are seeing them put in Japanese naval forces. Now, for one, yes, it gives us more stuff to play with, and that's just extremely fun. Period. Personally, in my opinion, stuff like naval forces is extremely fun because it you can be just as useful in a you know couple a two man plane as you can be in a five hundred crew ship, and I think that's just very fun and very intriguing as far as how it goes. So definitely, what I am going to say is this is something that I am happy to see, and I'm glad to see War Thunder still working to make this game better and better. Now. I do hope that this does show that we might later get into battleships because personally I do see these vehicles getting more and more armored and we go kind of we push the light cruisers we're starting to you know push further and further into light cruisers and maybe even light battleships if there's even such a technical thing as a light battleship so I definitely think that we're maybe getting closer to seeing battleships and with this year's April Fools of submarines might probably probably means that we will see submarines at some point in time so I definitely do think this will be a interesting year for War Thunder because if you watch I definitely hope to see and I may be wrong about the battleships but I true do truly think that we will see submarines at some point just because you know with the last time we had MBTs was supposed to be the big oh April Fools and then next year we had MBTs so I do definitely hope we will see some more types of stuff added into, um, excuse me, uh, aircraft and stuff that, well not aircraft, that's a different discussion, but of different ships. Now, another thing that might be, now, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt, because I have no proof for what I'm saying. I'm just saying this off of my knowledge of how, I was taking this off of my knowledge of the type of naval forces that Japan had just from my love of history and just from what I've seen I mean I, this is completely my opinion you can have a different opinion if you want to share that opinion send it to me on Twitter send it to me on disc come join the discord we can discuss it or put it down in the comments and I will definitely try to make a you know definitely try and reach out to you if you send me those comments and see how you feel but personally I feel like we're put in a better position for battleships and maybe aircraft carriers because of Japan. I say battleships indefinitely because the Yamamoto is something that almost, if we add battleships, so many people are going to ask for that it would make sense. Hey, let's put in the Japanese Navy, then let's kind of ease over. And okay, now we have a couple different countries with very iconic battleships. So I think that would basically kind of ease us over into that. And so then I think aircraft carriers could be too because America. And Japan were the first two to really use aircraft carriers 
efficiently and as very large numbers as kind of the flagship of their troops, of their armies, instead of the battleship. So I think those two countries, if we did put in aircraft carriers, I haven't seen anything to suggest that. But if they do, I think it is very good that they put in Japan. And I feel like that opens up a lot more room for naval forces. You know, Japan is good in aerial, not so great in tanks. They can be viable tanks, but they're not quite as influential as far as nostalgia and things of that nature. But I think Japanese naval forces will be something extremely interesting and add a lot to the game. So I am very glad that, you know, we got to see it added into the game. And this is one of the reasons I do love War Thunder is they have a staff that keeps the game updated and keeps it relevant and I think that's something that will be extremely fun. So I'm going to try and put out some more videos. Can't promise anything with work and other things it does make it difficult sometimes to put out videos. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video and if you have any thoughts, opinions, or maybe even some critiques of my videos that's okay just send them to me as long as you're constructive and not just rude we can get along and I can definitely respect you for sending your thoughts in I'm trying to build the channel and do also guys we have made it a year so you know I was gonna do a big video but I decided since I've kinda of been off the channel I don't wanna spend a whole bunch of time trying to make some big yay one year video but I do wanna tell y'all this is a one year and I might do a special I'm not real sure but we have made it past a year so guys just thank you for everything you've done to help us keep on this channel we'll have a great day guys and goodbye